In this video, I am going to discuss about linear programming problem, graphical method with ISO profit or cost function line method. This is an example which I am going to use for discussing ISO profit function. Please note this example which I am going to discuss. In this example, we have two decision variables x1 and x2. The objective function is maximization of z. z is equal to 15 x1 plus 10 x2. There are three constraints are there. First constraint is 4 x1 plus 6 x2 which is less than or equal to 36. First constraint. Second constraint 3 x1 is less than or equal to 18. Third constraint 5 x2 less than or equal to 20. In graphical method, we need to do one assumption that is the inequality should be removed and treat it as equality. Then the first constraint which is 4x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 36 will be considered as a line that is 4x1 plus 6x2 is equal to 36 instead of inequality we need to consider it as equality when we make equality then it is a line the constraint which is a line has two points every line has two points now for this line 4x1 plus 6x2 is equal to 36 we need to find the two points if x1 is equal to 0 considering if x1 is equal to 0 then x2 is equal to become 36 by 6 which is equal to 6. Now consider if x2 is equal to 0 then x1 is going to become 36 by 4 which is 9. So 0 comma 2 no, sorry 0 comma 6 and 9 comma 0 are two points for the line 4 x1 plus 6 x2 is equal to 36. For the second constraint we have 3x1 is equal to 18. We don't have x2 variable. So x2 variable is 0. When x2 is equal to 0, x1 will become 6. So the point for this constraint is 6 comma 0. For the third constraint, 5x2 is equal to 20. Now consider x1 as 0. x2 is going to become 20 by 5 which is equal to 4. For this, for this constraint, the point is 0, 4. Now, let us plot the three constraint lines on the graph paper with respect to points. For the first constraint, we have two points 0, 6, 9, 0. Second constraint, we have 6, 0. Third constraint, it is 0, 4. Now, we will plot for graph on a graphical paper. In this graphical paper, I have plotted x1 variable on x-axis and x2 variable values on y-axis. Now they are divided into units of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 into equal units. Now first I am plotting the first constraint which is 4x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 36 on the graph paper. We already calculated it has two points 0, 6 and 9, 0. I have plotted 0, 6 on y axis and 9, 0 on x1. So this is the first line which I get on the graph paper. Second line which is 3x1 is equal to 18. We don't have x2 variable so it is a vertical line on x1 axis. In the same way the third constraint we have 5x2 is equal to 20. I don't have x1 variable so the point is 0 comma 4 which is a horizontal line to x axis. So this is the third line. So three constraints are plotted on the graph paper. You can see this is one constraint, blue color, red color, second constraint, purple color line, third constraint. So three constraints are drawn on the graph paper. 
Now, if you observe the constraint, you'll understand they are equal or less than or equal. So even the second one also, it is less than or equal. Equality is there, less than or equality. So what we need to do is for every line, the area below the line should be considered. For this constraint, 4x1 plus 6x2 less than or equal to 36. So for the blue color line, we must take the area which is below. So the common area which is for the three lines is a shaded area. The green color shaded area. This area is called as feasible area. So the green color shaded area is a feasible area which is below the three lines. Now this feasible area has some corner points. If you observe, this is one corner point and this is also another corner point. Till this point, whether we do it extreme point method or we do ISO profit method, the procedure will be same. From here, for ISO profit method, the procedure will change. So now I discuss about ISO profit method. ISO profit function line. For doing ISO profit function line, consider the objective function. In our case, objective function is Z is equal to 15x1 plus 10x2. Take the LCM of coefficients of x1 and x2. The LCM of 15 and 10 is 30. I have calculated the LCM in this way, it is 30. So the LCM of 50, 15 and 10 is 30. Now divide the LCM by 2. Now here actually the LCM is 30 but why I am dividing it by 2 because the units which I have is very less. They are ranging from 1 to 8 or 1 to 12 maximum. So in order to minimize that range, I am I'm dividing. For example, if your range is somewhere like 200 or 300 above, you can multiply this 30 with 2. So in my case, since I have units which I am getting, like if you see x1 values, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I am dividing it by 2 so that I can minimize the lines. Now the value is 30 by 2 which is equal to 15. Z is equal to 15x1 plus 10x2. So in, K, in place of Z, substitute with 15. Now the equation becomes 15x1 plus 10x2 is equal to 15. Now calculate the points for this line. If x1 is equal to 0, then x2 is equal to 1.5. If x2 is equal to 0, then x1 is equal to 1. Now x1 value must increase by 1 unit and x2 value must increase by 1.5. I have recorded in a table form. x1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you see x2, 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6, 7.5, 9, 10.5, 12. Means x2 is increasing by 1.5 in every stage. Whereas x1 is increasing only by 1. Because we got here x1 is 1, x2 is equal to 1.5. Now I need to plot this x1 and x2 on the graph paper. Now on the graph paper, already we have the shaded area is feasible area. Now plot this x1 and x2 on the graph paper. So see here, x1 is 1 and x2 is 1.5. And plot the next point, 2 and 3. So I've shown these lines plotting as dotted lines. Parallelly, the lines are going to come in ascending order because my objective function is profit maximization. So the lines will increase from lower end to right side above. Now if we observe this first point is 1 and 1.5. Second is 2 and 3. Third one is 3 and 4.5. You see 
the x axis is 3 and y is 4.5 in this way slowly the lines will increase parallelly that's why we call it as iso profit lines iso profit means same so we are slowly increasing the line once you go on plotting at one point one line will cross the corner point in this shaded area we have some corner points this is one corner point and this one is another corner point where this red and blue color is intersecting this is one corner point where purple and blue color is intersecting this is one corner point we must see only for the feasible area corner points so this iso profit line if you see this line which is from 7 to 10.5 which I have marked as bold so this is crossing at the corner point 6 comma 2 now this corner point is called optimal solution I just repeat once again now after calculating x1 values and x2 values we need to plot them on the graph paper once you plot them on the graph paper all these lines will be parallel lines we call isoprofit lines in these lines one line will cross through the corner point of the feasible area now that corner point need to be identified in our case it is 6 comma 2 so what is the isoprofit line which is crossing 7 comma 10.5 you can see 7 comma 10.5 if you plot the next line it has already crossed the feasible area so this is the point which is called optimal point now the iso profit line 0 comma 10.5 and 7 comma 0 is passing through the corner point of the feasible region so what is the point it is 6 comma 2 so the point 6 comma 2 is called optimal solution for maximizing the z value if i substitute the 6 and 2 in the objective function z is equal to 15 x1 plus 10 x2 i get z value is equal to 110 this is optimal solution 110 is the optimal solution for the point x1 is 6 and x2 is 2 this is how we are going to solve the graphical method the linear programming graphical method using isoprofit line approach thank you